So this year's Grammy host, Trevor Noah, said mm -hmm. on Twitter that Kanye West should be canceled and not canceled. Kanye has been banned from performing at the show after hurling racial slurs at Noah and ongoing abuse behavior, of course, towards his ex, Kim Kardashian, and boyfriend, Pete Davidson. So what do you guys think about him being banned from performing at the Grammys? Oh, boy. I, I can understand a, there's a lot of sides to this, right? And I yeah. do want to be very sensitive because this is a very sensitive issue, not just for Kanye and Kim and whatever. I think for a lot of people watching this with a lot of fear and I think a lot of worry as well. Um, so I do want to be sensitive. But when you're talking about the Grammys, this is a music show. It is for musicians. I, I don't know. Is it their business? Should it be their business to use their show, which is to honor music, mm. to take a referendum on someone's personal life? And I think that if you're going to use that as the measuring stick right now, then the Grammys has a lot to answer for because there have been actual a good point. convicted musicians uh, who have actually done jail time for domestic abuse who have performed on their stages. So not just throwing something on, on Twitter, but actual jail time. And so if you're going to now start saying, what's your rap sheet look like? What are you up to in your personal life? And that's how we're going to measure if we're going to invite you or uninvite you to perform. I think that's a slippery slope. And I say that with all the sensitivity of what's going on right now. Do you think they're more nervous about the unpredictability that Kanye sort of brings with yeah. him. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Man. I think it's a real dilemma yeah. when it comes to him because my understanding is is that he's been asked not to perform, <clears throat> but he can still he's still invited right. to the show. So there's he's a great chance five that times, he's gonna right? yeah. five or six yeah. times. Yeah. So what happens if he shows up on the red carpet <clears throat> and, you know, carries a, a fake decapitated head of Pete Davidson? What if yeah. he wins? What if he, you know, decides to use his opportunity in front of the mic to, you know, we know he's very unpredictable, as you said, Jess. The, 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 the sad thing is, um, is the fact that he actually, my understanding, was brought in among uh, Grammy executives who, of course, were called out by people like The Weeknd for needing sort of a reframe on their entire process. And so he was brought in as a kind of consultant to talk about how to make the, the show better, more up-to-date, and more diversified. So this is such a dilemma. Um, and I think it's just that thing is we don't know how this story is going to end. He seems not only unpredictable, but becoming a bit unhinged. And so we hope that the story ends with him kind of pulling it all together, continuing to transform his, you know, pain into art. But, uh, you know, there's another ending to this, poss this story as well, which I think uh, people, I feel like, are starting to increasingly feel like, oh, is there something bad that's going to happen? Mm. Or mm. worse. And I think that's the difference, Mel. I mean, yeah. I hear your point because I do think that the Grammys are supposed to celebrate musicians. So, you know, why do they get to be the arbiters of who gets to perform and, you know, assessing a person's rap sheet? I think the difference is that if we're going to call it a, either a crime for which people have been convicted before or a concerning incident, it didn't happen on the stage of the Grammys. Yeah. Whereas what people are afraid of is that <laughs> the unpredictability of Kanye, as Cynthia just alluded to, may very well happen live during a broadcast. And then the Grammys and the network are then responsible to the FCC um, for, you know, lack of appropriate content and a fine. So that's number one. Number two, even if it doesn't cross the lines of something that could be finable, there are other artists there who deserve to be celebrated. Right. Whatever Kanye does, he becomes the conversation. So if I'm so many of the other artists, I'm like, hey, what about me? Now it's the Kanye show. And Natasha alludes to this on Facebook. And Natasha says, I think it saves the Grammys the worry of what he'll do. It wasn't just mm -hmm. about Trevor Noah. Billie Eilish is performing and he's targeted her as mm -hmm. well. He has a history of unpredictable behavior and problematic speech. It's okay <coughs> to give boundaries. And this was a boundary. Thank you, Natasha. There there is. Is. That's yeah. a really good call. I just wish there were people in his corner you know, to yeah. be doing more to step up. I don't know if you guys watched the, um, there's a three part, documentary on Netflix about him that his his old friend Cootie filmed it and he's been filming oh, footage Kid, Kid of Cuddy. Him. Yeah, Cuddy. 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 Sorry, Cuddy. thank you. Yeah. And Cuddy. he's been filming it f since the late 90s up until like a couple of years ago. And I've only watched the, the first two and a half parts. I fell asleep during the third part. I'm embarrassed to admit that. But um, the beginning parts where he's just constantly surrounded by his friends. You see the relationship with his mother. And then you see that sort of like basically post Taylor Swift debacle. Mm. Like he's in rooms alone 
you know, and after his mother dies yeah. and his friends sort of pull away and I read, it is heartbreaking. I read something that the scene that I haven't watched is that the, his good friend, Cuddy, 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 actually shuts off the camera at the end, almost as a way of protecting his friend. Well, Cuddy, and they've had a falling out. Yeah. So like, to your point, a lot of people in that circle who were taking care of him, they've because it's a lot. Yes. It's a lot, yeah. right? We, we know that from personal, yeah. probably, relationships in our lives, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah, it's true. It's true.